happy day, I'm glad. <laughs> and the time has finally come. We have waited nine months for this. Sally Face episode two is finally out. It's midnight right now. It just came out. I've had the beta for quite some time, but we weren't allowed to post it until today. So I'm just playing today. And if you didn't watch Sally Face part one, please go and do that. I'll put it here or here, or I'll link it below or something. Just go watch it first so this all makes sense. This is an incredible story. I am a blue haired guy named Sally with a prosthetic face. Something horrible happened to me. I'm in this building. It appears to be haunted and I teamed up with a guy named Larry and we put one of the residents of this horrible place in prison. Charlie, even though this happened nine months ago, I still remember it so vividly. I'm sorry. Hey, oh, her brains are all over the place. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. Well, that's good, but look at me. I'm sitting here, I'm looking badass as hell, I'm wearing my prosthetic mask, and look at, why do they let me wear the mask in jail? Like, couldn't that be, you know, dangerous? Here we go, okay, this is where episode two actually starts. This is content that we have never seen before. Let's go. Sal? Sally? Where are ya? Huh? Oh, is this before my face got ripped off? Oh, glory days, happy days. We're gonna walk through, scare the birds, well, I mean... I was always a scary kid, okay? Oh, Mom? Don't wander so far, sweetie. I wanna see the doggy, Mom! Can't you... <laughs> can't be so annoying. I wanna see the doggy, Mom! Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really wanna see it! Please, can I go pet the doggy? Whoa! Oh, alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. I'll wait over there by the trees. <laughs> These trees are creepy. These trees have got fingers. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I just, I just really want to see the dog, okay? I'm a kid. I just want to go pet some cute doggers. The trees are getting a lot more dense as I walk through. Oh. Why was that dog just ominously staring at me behind the bushes? Hello? Oh, oh, what happened? Did the... Did the dog rip my face off? Is that what happened here? That'll do it, I guess. I mean, dogs, they can, they can, they do that. Mommy! Mommy, please! Ah, what is this? What is going on? Was there a massacre? Ah! Enter, okay, yeah, let's, let's just enter the back of the bloody ambulance, sure. Hi. Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. <laughs> Oh, no problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels, if you know what I'm saying. I actually don't know what you're saying. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. I really don't, but that's fine. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Larry? I'm not Larry. Why are there ponies up here? Hello, lady? Okay, she doesn't want me to go into the kitchen. Last time I went into a kitchen in this creepy ass apartment, I saw some things that I can't unsee, so let's hope that doesn't happen. Where's the toilet? I'll un- Oh. Am I role playing as Harry? Am I role playing as Larry? What? Okay, we're in the sewer. Am I hallucinating? Did Larry, am I climbing up? Yeah, I don't, let's just, let's just look around a little bit. Oh, okay. You there, please. Help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. Why would you need water? So thirsty. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please, my mouth is so dry. Okay, um, I can do that. You've got horse teeth, human hair, wings. I don't even know how to make sense of you. You do have knobby knees, just like my boyfriend. Must say, I like a good, I like a good knobby knee every once in a while. All right, we're climbing up. So, oh, you can go up again. All right. Um, let's go see what's on the right first. Oh boy, why am I in the sewers? It's gonna take me some time to make sense of all this. Ooh, switch. Mm, yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know what that did. Oh, I can climb up two different ways. Okay, so we're gonna try the right side first. Maybe there's a ladder on each side that I can climb. Come on, let's see a ladder. Oh, this one goes up. Okay. There's another switch. All right. Okay, so that's just stupendous. And where's the last switch? There you are. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, we're gonna go down and see if that first switch that I tried to pull, but it turned red, will actually work this time. Let's do some business. Let's get our little horse mouth friend a drink. You. Yes. It worked. Okay, so now it is time to visit the horse. Hopefully the water is now a flowing. And hopefully the horse isn't deadly once he has quenched his thirst. Oh, there we 
we go again? Hey, guy. I can't even talk to you, but you sure do make a nice bridge. So I'm just gonna use you as a bridge. There's the clogged toilet. Okay, we're just gonna go a little bit further and see if, okay, no, we're gonna go unplug, we're gonna cl unclog that toilet. There's a lot of shit in there. It's gotta get done. I'm so creeped out. <laughs> Hello? Oh, I, I'm, I unclogged it. Okay, that's good. I, I don't know about keeping the plunger out there like that. Maybe we should wash it. Look at what? Okay. Uh, no! I was there for this? <gasps> no. She was so nice. She took donkey shits, yeah, but like that's no reason to kill. Oh my, I'm getting out of here. And we are going to follow the footsteps. The hallway is looking trippy. Ha. What's. Eh. Eh. Mmm. It's awful dark in here. Hey, Charlie. Okay, this better not be a memory of how bad of a person I am. Sorry. So, come closer. I have something to show you. Oh, uh, okay. As long as it's not your a pony dick or something. I know you touched my pony. He's got a zipper on his face. I thought we were friends, Sal. Hey, what does no? Ah! Maybe I should go roll around in the snow and not have dreams like this anymore. Episode two, the wretched. Could things get any more wretched? I guess we're about to find out. Larry. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think it's this building. There's something off about it. Dude, I know you're insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and I haven't seen any ghosts. Yeah, that must be proof, Larry. Just, just you, your anecdotes. I saw some ghosts. But. But what? But what? Well, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. What? Come on. What is it? Oh my goodness. I, I don't know if I can handle any more surprises right now. What? I did not remember this being here. Ready? What are you gonna show me, okay? Hey, there's security cameras out here, so we should be careful, Larry. I don't know why I'm just letting this Larry guy dictate what I do with my life because he doesn't really seem to be like a good influence. Whoa, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Oh, oh, a tree house. I mean, that's kind of wholesome. It's kind of cute, childish. Awesome, I'm coming with you, boy. All right, let's climb. You better not trap me up here and stab me. I feel like you murder people, Larry. But maybe that's why we're friends. Wow, this is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay and the next day he was just gone. No note, no nothing. And all of his things were still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license, everything. He just disappeared. Damn, I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how hard that is. Do your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe, I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but, well, I think it's something else. Oh, like what? I haven't told many people about this, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. Show me what it is! Maybe this is why I like Larry so much, because we had this little bonding time here while we were still 15. What is it? Well, the day before he disappeared, I did something I'm not too proud of. My parents got some fireworks, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own, but... I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and one of them ended up in Mrs. Gibson's open window. It killed her pet rabbit. Oh, oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mrs. Gibson and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible though, a poor bunny. Anyway, as I was coming down in the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. The demon? He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the doors opened. He cursed me. Because of what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. 
My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while and I had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. So you think this curse took your dad away? Maybe the curse got that woman killed while he was plunging the toilet? I don't know. I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. Mm. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had the form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. These deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Holy shit. What? I've seen it too. I've seen your demon. No way. When? I swear, I've seen it in the building, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghosts too. I mean, I know you don't believe in ghosts, but seriously, I saw it too. We both saw it in different places. It has to be true. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? Uh, how could we do that? Maybe there are some clues around that can help. We can try to find out more about the ghosts, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Eh, sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. My life's already shit. Maybe, maybe there's a clue in the treehouse? What's this picture? Oh, back when they were a happy family. Huh? That's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the lost and found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activity. Well, that was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. I also should mention here that a lot of people don't know the secret behind the Gear Boy and how to even get it. The creator of the game helped me get it in the first place, so I will link that video in the description. It's a separate video from the first one. And let's keep going. My mom didn't want any of my dad's things in the house, so I brought everything out here for when he comes back. Oh, that's sad. There's gotta be something more. What's in this cabinet? Nothing useful in there, all right. Chest? Oh, what about, oh, okay, nature life. A bunch of nature and outdoorsy magazines. Seems like Larry's dad is the opposite of my dad. The magazines are all old, from six years ago or more. Doesn't look like anything too useful though. Let's see what else is in here. My dad seems like a broken man. He has kind of a drinking problem. I do remember that vividly from the last playthrough. What's here? A worn leather jacket. There are a couple of old concert tickets in the pocket. I guess that's where Larry gets his taste in music. His death metal! Seems like a nice way to bond. I don't think I've even watched a concert on TV with my dad, let alone go to one live. Okay, what about... Hmm, this is the last thing. Oh, there's some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like it's sealed shut. We're gonna take that. Oh yeah. My gear boy went off. What is that? What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. It's some kind of puzzle box. Never could figure out how to open it, though. I'm gonna crack this shit open. It looks like there's a piece missing. Oh yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Well, smash it open! Do you mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Cool. Just let me know if you get it open. Yeah, okay, of course. The goal is to follow Larry. We got this piece missing in this puzzle box. Oh. All right. I thought I could go upward, but I guess I guess this isn't a two-story treehouse. It's getting pretty cold. We should head back inside now. Ready when you are. All right, let's go. Well, that was interesting. I mean, I feel like I have a very close connection with Larry, despite him being a little bit fishy and suspicious because of what happened here. I feel like a lot of bad things have happened in my life, and I can relate to Larry in that respect. Why do you look so sad, boy? Let's go inside. Let's get warm. Let's headbang. I'm going to look around and see what else I can find out. All right, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. What happened to Lisa? Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. You're welcome. I love you. Oh, nice painting. Jeez, what's wrong with you? Did you ever tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man, you wanna hear it? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, here we are again. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Woo okay, I'm done. All right, that's really good. Thanks for showing me. Hopefully you won't notice that I'm just gonna quietly headbang my way out of here. I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Lisa's room. Lisa, what's wrong with you, Lisa? I'm so sorry. I got him to turn on music. It's probably really bad being sick in here with death metal blaring over there. Yo. Hey, Lisa. You feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Asel. I think today might be the worst of it. 
Once I'm over this hump, I'll be right as rain. She's so positive. Like, despite the fact that everything in this place is very strange and abnormal, she's always just, mm, cheerful. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Uh, take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty and Larry's been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. All right, sorry about the, sorry again about the music. Your eyes are all black underneath. It's making me nervous. Can I get you anything? Don't trouble yourself any, Sal. Larry is taking good care of me. All right. Are you sure? Don't trouble your shell. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna quickly check the kitchen. Oh, hey. Look at that, we've got pictures together now. We are, we're, we're tight. We're tight, baby. Huh, this is just like the chest in the treehouse. But there's nothing of note inside this one. Anything going on in this bathroom? All the bathrooms in this building look exactly the same. Anything going on in the kitchen? Nothing going on in the kitchen, okay. I'm just always bracing myself with this game. Hi. Hey boy, are you, uh, you you good? Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't start my Saturday without some chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start off the weekend with video games and cartoons. I guess you like chocolate? Did you see the new Rico's Modish Wife episode? Rico's Modish Wife? That's like Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. It's like made for kids, but there's so many sex jokes and weird innuendos in it. It's glorious. Me too. All right, gonna check the laundry real quick. Really? Who keeps leaving their clothes in here? There's only one washer dryer for this entire building. Come on guys, we don't have in-suite laundry. You can't do that. So irresponsible. Why are there so many cameras here now? I, I don't know if I noticed these last time. Eh, it doesn't look like anything I can use here. Let's go upstairs. There's gotta be some clues. I need to get to the bottom. Addison, what's up? Got any tea, bro? How may I help you, Sal? Um... What's with the new cameras? Didn't you and your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Um, oh, yeah. I guess we just kind of forgot about it, or it sounded so boring we didn't want to go. That's not a problem at all, though I do suggest you join in on the meetings in the future. If you're able to, that is. You see, it helps keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your question, I've had a new security system put in. For everyone's safety. With all of the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous. My hope is that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place, everyone can feel more comfortable in their living arrangements. That makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Oh, you don't serve in tea anymore? You got any- you seen any ghosts? Boy? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. The last thing I need right now are some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. Promiscuous? Really? I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa's sick. Now Lisa, she holds this place together, but no, no, it is okay, Mr. Addison. Everything is okay. I was, uh, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that's all. Whew, I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. You're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself, okay? You're too kind, Sal. Well, I just got someone thrown in jail, so what do you expect? Goodbye. Good day. No, not right now. Okay, so we can only leave when we are supposed to leave, which is great because I like to have a more streamlined experience when I desperately want to figure out what's going on. All right. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is there something you want? I just wanted to talk to you. To me? Oh, all right. Come on in then. The door's open. Hey. Oh, you're old. I didn't know you were that old. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Hi, Mrs. Rosenberg. I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I may not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time is all I have, and even that'll soon slip away from me. Well, that's depressing. Okay, Mrs. Rosenberg. Or maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. Such a strange concept, isn't it? Time. Sitting here all alone, the mind can drift. Uh, okay. The mind can drift a great deal, wondering what's beyond the veil. Getting too deep into these thoughts in the world makes less and less sense. I'm lonely. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had something to ask? Yeah, um, 
How long have you lived here to start? Long indeed, though it's hard to say exactly. My old mind can barely hold on to memories of yesterday anymore, let alone the distant past. I'm afraid my days are nearing an end. Soon I will return to dust, and my consciousness will merge with the great and mysterious nothing. A void that's impossible for our little brains to wrap their heads around, and trust me when I say I've tried. Yes, a powerful, dreaded, empty nothingness. Oh, I'm gonna die someday, and so will you. What was your question? It's okay, Mrs. Rosenberg. I'm sorry I asked, though. I was asking how long you've lived here. That's all I want to know, not how long you have left on this planet before you die. You know, I do remember when the Addisons moved here from overseas to construct this building. Okay, so I'll take it as it's a long time. Okay, can you stop talking? Actually, this land belonged to my family first, but I decided to sell to the Addisons since I was the only one remaining as I am now still. I thought the company would be nice to have again, someone to share the anguish of life with. Life is pain. I was young and desperate for a new beginning. What a foolish girl I was. That's depressing, okay. So you regret selling the land, huh? A life as old as mine is filled with regrets, my dear, though it all eventually becomes meaningless. I, I mean, she looks so nice. I, I, I don't know what's going on here. So about the Addisons, whatever happened to the rest of the family? Like, do they live around town? Like, what's going on here? They're gone. Oh, now I get the short answer? Gone? Time takes us all, Sally. Poor little Terence is the last of his family. Oh, I suppose he's not so little now, but that's how I see him. As a young boy with a twinkle in his eye and a head filled with dreams. Now look at him. He never leaves that godforsaken room. Yeah. Why does he stay locked away in there? He went a little kooky after his family passed, if you ask me. The boy was so wound up, he was afraid of his own shadow. Terence worshipped his father and gave up on his dream of opening a tea house in order to run his father's apartments. Slowly but surely, he began confining himself in the safety of his room until one day, he stopped coming out altogether. Yes, despite the cheerful persona he puts forth from behind that door of his, Terence Addison is about as timid as they come. If you guys didn't know, Terence is the guy with the peephole who gives out the Addison's tea. I didn't think that he'd be so shy. I mean, he was just talking about like meetings that everyone's having, but she's going on about how like messed up he is. Damaged by a life of misfortunes, but aren't we all, my dear? Yes, I suppose we are. Oh. One more thing, and please try to keep it short this time. Have you ever seen ghosts in the building? I need to know this. I'm doing research. Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such a thing as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Do old Rose a favor. Enjoy your life while it lasts. Don't be consumed by the allure of death and its many secrets. I know, yes, yes, it's quite tempting and very easy to get pulled in. Why, you could say we're all ghosts, really. Just waiting to pass from this place to the next. Such a thin membrane that separates existence and non-existence. Yes, we're mortals, I know! With our frail bones and delicate casings, any small misstep could send us reeling into eternity in the blink of an eye. Bye! Bitch! Oh, uh, no, okay, should I talk to her again? No, no, actually, ah, that's another question, no! Oh, it's the longest one, no! No! Bye, 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 bye. You don't have a kitchen? Oh, you're blocking it, of course. All right, well, that was a mistake. Mrs. Gibson, she sounds old too. I think Mrs. Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Oh, she's the one who screamed at me last time. Okay, we're gonna go to the second floor, see what's going on up there. Come on, boy, second floor. It's weird around here without Lisa. The people that lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie. Uh, I'm not surprised. Okay. Oh, Charlie's old place. Okay, this is Charlie's old place. Feel kind of bad. It's all empty now. Uh, is there anything going on in the kitchen? No? Okay, I just keep bracing myself. Nothing's going on. <laughs> uh, anything going on in the bathroom? Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm definitely not going in there. Charlie, too, took a... Wonderful donkey shit every once in a while. Todd's place. I don't really want to bother him right now. He's usually tutoring on the weekends. All right, well, that's wholesome. It's like... Maybe these weirdos with the weird noises will open up this time. Hello? Hello? Let me in. Okay, I'll take that as a no. I, I don't know what's going on in there. Like, 
Maybe we should put a security camera in there. Wish I could ask Mr. Addison what's going on in there. Chug's place. Chug is downstairs and his parents work on the weekends. Of course, Chug is trying to get some candy out of that machine. But what about here? No one's home. We're making our way up. Oh, 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 ah, ah! What's up, brother? Uh, what happened to your pants? No, I, I gotta stay on topic. Have you seen any ghosts around? Yeah, for sure, the ghosts in my past keep me awake at night all the time. I barely get any sleep around here. Oh, what about? Like, a spirit of someone else that used to live here or something? Sally, you just gotta lay off the drugs, man. Trust me, you'll have a better life for it. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Okay, what happened to your pants? Oh, well, they're in the wash still. The wash? Oh, it's, so it's your pants in the wash. Sarah was supposed to go get them out, but we just talking right channel. Fuck, what? Sarah was supposed to go get them out, but we just got to talking that, you know? Lost track of time. All right. Well, I'm sorry about your pants. See ya. All right, bye. Actually, I like that guy. 301. Okay, it seems like they're pretty busy. The college students. Okay, college students. That's wholesome. That's fun. Maybe I'll get to party with them later if they don't mind my mask. Oh, yeah, I'm like 15. Mm, well, maybe. Maybe they'll want to hang out with me. 403? Huh? Uh, okay. Okay, 404. I don't think anyone lives here. Maybe they left after what happened next door. I would too. I, I don't blame them. Why is the camera ripped off here? Hmm. I don't like that one bit. All right, this is my place. Hey! Oh, hey, kitty cat! Gizmo, you're just watching TV by yourself? You are so cute! What you watching, buddy? Oh, you're just so cute. I love you. Anything going on in the kitchen? Nope. All right. That's fine. Anything going on in the toilet? Okay, someone's got to clean this up. That's a lot of crap. You're just watching TV and pooping, huh? At least it's not flooding the toilets. Dad? Hi. Hi, Dad. Can't talk right now, Sal. I've got to make this deadline for work. You haven't seen me in a while. Dad? Alright. Fine. I get it. I'm scared as hell, but I'm going to the fifth floor because you know what? I'm bored and I want to see what's going on. Ugh, I'm so scared. Ooh, okay. All right, can't even, it's locked, all right. This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please get the hell out. No, we're staying, 504 occurred. I should call Larry up here so he can meet Megan. Then he'll have to believe that Addison Apartments are haunted. Larry, you there? I'm here. Ah, don't. I'm here, what's up? Can you come to 504? Sure, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyway. I'll be right up. All right, Larry, Larry. Get over here. You're gonna meet my little friend. So, what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. I mean, that that probably sounds creepy, she's in the bathroom. I personally wouldn't go, but Larry's got big balls, so. Oh, the handprints on the door, Oh, Damn, these fifth floor rooms have seen better days. Shh, what? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? Don't embarrass me, I want you to meet my friend Larry. Megan! Megan, don't do me like this. I don't think there's anyone here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. Though, I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So, you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl. How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. Hey, I predicted that one. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. As weird as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. Oh, uh, I really thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, you know who you should go talk with? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's also into this supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd, really? Huh. I never expected he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. All right, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's all right. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. Megan, Megan, you better not pop out. Now that Larry's gone, if you do, I've, I swear to God. Megan! 
As anxious as I am to talk to Todd right now, I'm going to have to end here. It is 1.20 in the morning. I want to be able to take my time with this game and also get it out as soon as possible for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Please show Portable Moose some support because what an incredible game he created. Created. Wow. English. Don't forget to show me some support by giving this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at GloomyCassie and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!